In this question, we're given some signal x of t, and the only thing we're told about it is that it is band limited to 4 kilohertz. So it's limited in frequency between plus and minus 4 kilohertz. So it doesn't matter what the shape of the spectrum is, something like that. And the question is, find the bandwidth, so the frequency domain, or the, the amount of um, frequency used, for x squared both in the time domain and the frequency domain. So x squared of t and x squared of omega. These are two different signals, and we want the bandwidth. So we would need to remember that x squared simply means x of t times x of t. And because this is a product, remember the rules of thumb, we said that if it's a product the bandwidth is the sum of the two bandwidths. So in this case, your bandwidth would simply be 4 plus 4 equals 8 kilohertz. So that's straightforward. Slightly less obvious is what happens if you square the spectrum. So if we take um, the uh, spectrum here and then square that, so if we were to multiply that by itself, what would happen? Well, consider. Let, let's consider what would happen. For all frequencies greater than 4 kilohertz, you'd be multiplying 0 by 0, and the same for frequencies less than minus 4 kilohertz. And for all frequencies between minus 4 and 4, you'd be squaring the spectrum. So the shape would change, but the bandwidth wouldn't change. It would still be limited between minus 4 and 4, because all frequencies greater than 4 and less than minus 4 would be multiplied by 0. So the um, perhaps unsurprising result is that the bandwidth is equal to 4 kilohertz. So nothing's changed. By squaring the spectrum, the bandwidth doesn't change. So once we know the bandwidth, we can then calculate the Nyquist rate, which is double, twice the bandwidth. But I just wanted to show you that squaring a signal in the time domain and squaring the spectrum of the signal gives you a different bandwidth. Because as we know, square or multiplying in the time domain is not the same as multiplication in the frequency domain. Remember the convolution theorem.